What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session, and today we're going to be talking about Larry Ogunjobi and some of the things that he was doing versus the Bucks. This dude's productivity continues to keep going up and up and up. And it is with you to full 2C, man. So as we always do, that is Larry right there. Circled him up nice and neat. Played him full speed. Now that we're going to break this thing down. But yeah, man, I was excited about this dude. Because he was putting on. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All righty, all righty. So to start it out, Larry's in line right here in this B gap, okay? So... For those that don't know, the B gap is between the guard and the tackle. All right, it's your A gap right here between guard and center. And then I hear when you get the tackle and tight end, that's where you get your C gap. D gap is out here where Malik Reed is, outside shade of the uh, tight end, all right? Just for those that don't know, okay? So for Larry right here, man, it's a beautiful situation, man. He understands that number one, it's a run situation. But they're playing their sub package, or excuse me, they're still in their base defense right here, right? So that's why he's aligned as a, uh, in that B gap technique right there, all right? But with this, though, the thing that I enjoy is this, man. Larry isn't one of those guys just going to sit there and just allow you to double team him over and over. Because you can see this is supposed to be a combo block between the guard and the tackle, okay? It's supposed to be comboing him right there. But he's like, man... You're not gonna keep doing the same thing over and over. So you get the swim move, the sidestep, but he's athletic enough to make this type of play right here. Not everybody is capable of doing this. Now, obviously, um, you get, I think that was, uh, man, it looked like that was Mollet, I think finishing it up. But in terms of when you're talking about how this guy right here, understand, or not Mollet, it was uh, <laughs> Edmund, excuse me for that one. But when you're talking about how this guy understanding, hey, man, I could get this double or this combo block, but I don't have to deal with that. But when you make that type of swim move, when you do this, you have to be able to get back because what happens is this. When you swim out of your gap the way that he did in terms of Larry Ogunjobi, right? When he does this, you create a big void right here, okay? Because if you look here, that guy's blocked. You got a blocker on the inside linebacker, right? <clears throat> And your next defender is a safety. So when you decide to hop out the gap the way that Larry Ogunjobi did, you have to be right. And Larry understands that because he understands defense and understands how to do this at the professional level. And he also understands the integrity of the call. But it's good to see that not only is he able to respond out of this thing in terms of just being a playmaker, but now going out here and finishing it as well, man. Obviously gets a nice hit on the running back. From there, you got Edmonds finishing it off, but big time play right there from Larry, man. And that's what you love to see from this dude, man. The healthier he gets, the more of this that pops up on screen, man. And that's what we're going to be needing from him going forward. All right, now this next play from Larry shows him making a big time TFL on the goal line. As we always do, that's the big man right there. Got him circled up nice and neat. We'll play it in full speed. Not that I'm going to break it down. Oh, no. Don't you be glitching now. You saw that? Mm -mm. We won't do that. Not on the Master Most Film Session. We won't do that. There it is. That's what we do right there. Big time. Big time. Shoot him up. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> man, Larry, dude. That's the dude right there, man. All right. So, when you're talking about this goal line, um, the Steelers in their goal line defense is not a lot of disguise. Not a lot of... Uh, anything fancy is more so just get off the ball you know when you're talking about how this is coached up front these guys are taught to get off the ball be a disruptor and re-establish the line of scrimmage one yard deep in the backfield so when you watch their technique they're all very aggressive in this thing all right and then for the lbs it's more so man just find a hole all right mirror this running back find a hole but for larry understanding that hey all i gotta do is get off this ball right he knows, okay, I'm getting cut blocked from this center, but he's athletic enough that he's able to stay up. And that's the thing that makes Larry so unique and special. Not only is he athletic enough to defend the cut block, but now he's able to get vertical and make a big time tackle on Leonard Fournette at the goal line, man. Like this is the type of stuff when you bring a guy in like him, this is what you expect. And we know early on, it wasn't as consistent, but like we said, man, he had missed a lot of time this offseason, man, with the injury. But you see now what he is capable of. Cut block, it doesn't matter. This guy's a playmaker. Get off the ball. Uh, now let's get vertical. Let's go. Big time right there, man. 
big time. This dude has really been a breath of fresh air since joining us, man. And like I said, for him, man, the productivity is only going to continue to increase the further removed he is from the injury, man. So big time play right there. Shoot him up. Bang, bang. All right, now we're gonna talk about Larry in the three technique, rushing the passer, baby. So, that's the big fella right there. Put it in full speed, after that we're gonna break it down. Watch him go to work, yee, ha, come here, boom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shout out to Larry, man. This dude was super productive this game, man. But um, right here, here he is in the three technique. So when we talk about three technique, that's this three techniques is outside shade the guard all right outside shade of this guy cam hayward he's in your one okay one technique is essentially outside shade of your center okay so with that though and they're lined up like that because they're nickel defense all right sub package ball got the young uh, guy elijah riley showing a little hollywood action right here but for uh larry man the thing that i enjoy is this man he understands getting off the ball. He understands how to rush the passer and how to set up moves. So get off is his first thing. Boom, he's out of his stance. He just it gets a nice one-two to make this guard feel like he's trying to beat him with speed vertically. But then after that, you see him set it down, right? To go to a shake and bait. Now you see him chop, chop. And he's doing that because he wants to be able to rock this guy like you just saw. And now that he rocks him, now you get the inside or his inside arm clubbing by and he's clearing his hips while he's doing it. Very fundamentally sound right here. And then from there, once she works the club, he skies the rip. So you see his hand, and this is what I'm talking about. When I talk about the rip hand, that little black thing <laughs> right here that is around this white hash mark, that is Larry's hand. The fact that that is at his eyes or higher, that's how you win. When you talk about sinking the rip, that's how you do it. It clears your hips, and it ultimately allows Larry to run the horn or the hoop all right, how we want to phrase that. And now he's able to get a nice QB hit on Tom Brady, man. Forcing and completion. You'd love to see it. you love to see it. But that's the type of detail that Larry operates with, man, when you talk about him as a pass rusher. Gets off the ball, uses that stutter. Inside club, sky the rip, sky it, boom. Let's go, clear your hips, run the horn, boom. I like that, baby, I like that. Glad they ain't throw a flag either. You know it's Brady, man. They'll be looking to throw a flag for any little thing. Oh, man, you hit him too hard. Wah, 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 wah. I don't want to hit. Shout out to Larry, yo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Play it again. So nice. I had to see it twice. Holla. All right, now this final play we're going to talk about for Larry Joby just shows him once again getting after the quarterback, baby. Now, I'm telling y'all ahead of time, I got the tight copy and I got the sideline copy because... The move is amazing, but unfortunately, the end zone copy doesn't show the hit the way that I need you to see this hit. So that's why I gotta flip it and do the sideline as well, all right? But we're gonna start with the end zone, okay? And here Larry is in the one technique, right? Remember from the last last one, right? Last time he was in three, this time he's in one, okay? So let's watch what he does, and then we'll break it down. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Hold on, wait a minute. Come on back, bring it back, Pimpin. Ooh, okay. So, let's talk about this thing, huh? So with him being in the one technique this time, and when we talk about that one, right? Just inside the center and the guard, okay? But him being in a one technique, he understands that now the center becomes more of a factor. When you're out there in a three technique, you're not really worried about a tap, you're not worried about a, a center because you know you're gonna more than likely have that uh, uh, the solo um, in terms of the rush, unless they slide the protection to you, okay? But when you're in here at the uh, in the one technique spot, this center, even if he does slide away, could still get hands on you, could still potentially be a factor, um, so to speak, in the um, in your rush. So for Larry, he has to understand that, he has to know that, okay? So with this though, I like how his mindset instantly goes, I'm going to set this up. Let me get a little space. Okay. So you see initially, where is he going? He's initially going to attack the inside shoulder of this guard. And guys will teach you in terms of when you're getting a double team, you want to work on one. You don't want to fight two guys. All right. 
Think of it in the concept of your fight. If you see two guys in the alley that want to fight you, you're not going to fight both of those guys at the same time. No, you're going to pick one. That's the guy you're going to really focus in on and ultimately get rid of him. Then you're going to work on the other person. But if you try to fight them both at the same time like that, it's not going to end well for you. All right. So Larry kind of gets that. He goes for the first guy. All right, bet. But he can feel the center. He feels him oversetting. And now you get the big boy hump action. Huh. Look like Reggie right up there. I mean, 70's feet were in the air. Now his knees on the ground. Ain't nothing good when you're on your knees on a football field. I'm just throwing it out there. But boom. Then you get my man Larry. And this is what I'm saying. It cuts it off, right? I don't like that. We were about to talk about Larry finishing it and getting a nice time, a nice big hit on Tom Brady. So before we do that, I'm gonna play this one more time from the end zone. Alright. Then after that, we're gonna go back to that wide angle so you can see this hit. Because he gets a good one. It was a real good one. But man, I just like this rush right here from Larry, though, man. I put it in slow mode. It was already in slow mode, most dang. Messing up, him. Pass pass up too. It happens sometimes. All right, we back. Oh, just look. Just, ah, ah, ah. Bro, his feet are in the air. Your feet should not be in the air unless you're jumping vertically. That's not a vertical jump, seventy. That's not how you want to look. Shout out to Larry Ogan Joby. Oh, uh. now that was beautiful though. But now here it is from the sideline, so you can actually see Mr. Tom Brady. This dude. We want to see him get hit. So let's do it, man. Hello. Oh, uh. sit down. Hold on. Mm. Gotta run that bet one more time, right? Just one more time. Come here. Huh. Huh. Now. Ah, you know I'm gonna run that back turbo one more time. Mama! But nah, my man Larry definitely was doing what he needed to do this past game, man. Like I said, man, just really impressed with his growth um, and his just ability to pick this defense up and feel comfortable in it, man. But this is some of the stuff that he's continuing to put on tape and I only think it's gonna improve even more the more in shape he gets now. Because remember, he missed a ton of time in training camp, right? Missed a ton of time in OTA's mini camp. But now he's getting in a rhythm, man. So you let me know your thoughts on Larry, man. If you're excited about what you're seeing from him and what you think he's actually capable of, man, in terms of going forward. But either way, man, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.